For the past 30 odd years, I've been a strong supporter of the Quality Deer Management Association of America, now known as the National Deer Association. My involvement with them began when I met Brian Murphy when he came down from Georgia to Tasmania to set up the QDM program for fallow deer in that state. To show our support for QDM, my company, Wild Country Adventures, would donate on a 50-50 basis a guided hunt on our red deer and fallow deer here in Queensland. Over the years, we met some fantastic characters when they'd come down and hunt with us. So here are some of the stories on this channel about those people and their adventures here in Aussie. Now, this clip is about a couple of great characters, David Basto and Larry Kozik. They were down here hunting red stags and they'd been quite successful. Then we went out in search of a top class fellow buck. I don't know how the wind isn't wrecking it. The wind just seems to be going straight at them, but it must be going and then cutting up the side. It's bloody windy. Just about blow you off the face of the hill. I'll never have it said by anybody that these these pair slacked off. They walk the hills. They have lost sweat. We'd found some promising scrapes and got a young buck to come in close, but as yet there was no big boys on the scene. Just a little, probably two-year-old fellow buck. Mm -hmm. Coming straight in on his scrape. My grunts had that young stag quite stirred up, but what I didn't realize was I had something much bigger coming up on our blind side. <laughs> <laughs> what a job. That dog. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable, man. We just got the jump on a monstrous fallow buck. And gee, as you went to fire, Dave went to fire, he just went forward. Dave swung with him and fired, but he hit him too far back. <laughs> and off this fellow went like a rocket in the thick stuff. Put Chocky straight out. There he bailed that, that buck up and the buck was attacking him with his antlers. He bailed him up and he got in close and smacked him, man. Shoot him now. <laughs> oh, good dog. Yeah. Yeah. Way to go with that. Legend. Let's have a look at him, mate. Yeah. He just scooped the pool. Oh, what a buck. It's as it happens, folks. You can't get more reality than this. This is a superb game animal. Absolute superb game animal. <laughs> you wait till Brian sees this. <laughs> Brian, here's one for you, mate. This is Brian Murphy's QDM, the fallow man that comes down to Tasmania and did so much great work in Tasmania. And he got some of us knuckleheads up here in Queensland to listen as well. Brian. Put on your butt. Look at that for a superb fellow deer. He's got um, double guards, huge guards, huge palm, plenty of points on palm, good spread, good length, great trays. Superb. Taking free range legally, ethically, as part of a quality deer management property. Yeah. So many times that we hear our government say that these things are a pest and they should be eliminated. And for me, to call them a pest 
is so disrespectful, is so disgusting. I you know, have trouble talking to people to class them as a pest. Sure, they can be a problem if their numbers get out of control, but um, they're a resource. They're a tremendous resource. Hunters need to get off their tails and help, really help to keep numbers under control. But if they do that, they should be recognised by government as, a, as the best way, recreational hunters, the best way to control herbs like this. Mm -hmm. Here you've come halfway around the world yeah. to hunt with us. Yeah, it's been a great trip. We've worked hard, you've worked us hard. <laughs> <laughs> you have worked, uh, you followed the legends. It, it yeah. was worth it, no, good, good trip. Great stuff. Last, last day, last evening of our hunt and we get a trophy buck. Elvis. Elvis, we <laughs> get Elvis. The, you have the king. Yes. What an awesome buck. Testament to good deer management. Has to be one of the best bucks on the in the area. Seen him twice. This is our second encounter. This one we got a better drop on him than the first time. Come over from the U.S. to uh, hunt deer, the red deer and the fallow deer. Had a great trip. Have been successful in both areas. Uh, wild country adventures. Come join us. What a what a beautiful animal. I've not seen anything like it. Great fallow deer from Queensland, Australia. Over here for a week long or a five day long hunt. Uh, part of the QDM management of this property this pre has uh, created a, a trophy where there were none before. Now unfortunately when Brian Murphy retired and QDMA amalgamated to become the National Deer Association, the powers that be no longer recognise Clark and Judy, Wild Country Adventures or all the hunts that we donated over the years. With your help we can spread these clips around so that all QDMA and National Deer Association members realize that they have got a strong voice for quality deer management still here in Australia. QDMA down under. Thanks for watching.